Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Welcome to another QuickBooks tutorial video. In this free tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a journal on QuickBooks Online, how to post a journal entry on QuickBooks Online. There are likely a couple of reasons why someone will want to post a journal entry. Number one is for a some sort of correction or corrections. So it could be totally as an example that a number of transactions have been posted to bank charges but they should be in credit card charges. To save you going through each transaction individually and reassigning the category, reassigning the nominal code from bank charges to credit, char credit card charges for each transaction, you can just do a journal to post the full amount. Um, so it could be the, uh, at the end of the year you post the full amount to correct the total from bank charges to credit card charges. So the first reason is for corrections. The second main reason why people post journal entries is for adjustments. Things like depreciation, prepayments, accruals. Generally this is where accountants would come in as they would use a journal entry to do that. And it could be that your accountant has sent you a list of journal entries to enter onto QuickBooks Online for year end or the beginning of a new year. So how do we enter a journal entry? Simply go to new at the top left here and then somewhere on this tab, on this box that has appeared, it's usually under other, we have journal entry. If we just click on journal entry, we then fill in the journal. You have your currency, the posting date. So if you're doing a journal for month end or year end, it's likely going to be the last day of a particular month. You have a reference number. So it could be that we want to call this adjustments or corrections 2022 or 2024, whatever it's going to be. You have your accounts. These are the account categories, the nominal accounts on QuickBooks Online, the deb entry, the credit entry and description. This name at the end is for suppliers and customers. So if you have a journal entry that impacts a customer's or supplier's account, that's where the name comes in. You don't have to use the name, obviously, and most journal entries will not have a name assigned, uh, assigned because it's not for uh, a particular customer or supplier. It's just for adjusting or correcting figures from nominal account to nominal account. So sticking with our example, if we do bank charges, it could be that we're going to move £551.32 from bank charges to credit card charges. And we can put here correction due to miss posting or whatever description is going to make sense to you when referring to this at a later time so credit card charges that would be our journal we could simply then click save and new if we want to add a new journal or save and close to save the journal and go back to the main screen on QuickBooks Online. Now journal entries are considered a more advanced feature of accounting a more advanced principle of accounting purely because you have the debit and credit side of the entry. If you don't know your debits and credits, you are going to struggle enter journal to enter journals. That's why generally accountants would do them at year end. But if you do know your debits and credits and you need to post a journal entry, this is where you will do it on QuickBooks Online. Hopefully this has helped. If you have any questions at all, just let me know. If you do need to make a journal recurring there is this option down the bottom here we have make recurring you can click on that and fill in the details at the top of the page hopefully this helps i'll speak to you in another video i have loads of free quickbooks videos just head over, head over to my website freebookkeepingaccounting.com click on free stuff this is the url up here freebookkeepingaccounting.com scroll down i have lots of free courses for bookkeeping accounting business planning financial statements sage zero there's a quickbooks button here there's a number of free courses and videos all for free that will teach you everything and anything about quickbooks online thank you so much for watching please like please subscribe and please watch more of these videos